here we are in Whitby. We're going to check out the top things to do on a budget. Follow me. Here we are at Whitby train station. Trains come all the way down from Newcastle. And if they change at Newcastle, they can come from anywhere. Check it out. First thing you see when you come to Whitby is that giant ship. Let's go check it out. This is a replica of Captain Cook's HMS Endeavour. The remains of the real HMS Endeavour are found in Australia's Maritime Museum. Go check those out. Here we are at Panet Park, just a five minute walk from the train station. Let's go check it out. Wait till I show you what I've just seen. Turn you around. It's a massive clock. Look at that. Oh, home of Art Gallery and Museum. We'll have to check that out. Follow me. Here we are at the museum. We can't get in. There must be another way. Here we are at Panna Art Gallery and Museum. Entrance to the art gallery is free. Let's take a look. Now I like this one. It's of a Hawks and Mill and it is by an Owen Bowen. But it reminds me of the painting out of Roald Dahl, the witch's film, where the little girl disappears and she appears in the painting. It's very spooky. I quite like this piece by Ernest Rigg an old woman supervising a child reading, but it scares Jill. <laughs> a Whitby fisherman. So the art gallery is free, but there's also a Whitby museum that you can go to, which I think is six pounds per person. What an incredible look around the art gallery. Let's see some more of Panet Park, follow me. Steve. Is that you, Steve? Weren't you in Scarborough two weeks ago? I think you were. That's just my finger. Sorry, Steve. Look at this lovely sculpture of a pair of owls, which has been carved out of a pear tree which once existed on here and has since died. But they've made use of it. This park is absolutely amazing, but what we've just uncovered, you won't believe. Let me turn you around and show you. Stone Circle, check that out. <laughs> I think it's pre-medieval or Bronze Age times. Wow. Feel the energy, feel the energy, feel the Panic Park energy. Robert Panic, split screen. It's time for Gate, Gate of the, the Week! Bit of a creepy gardener sculpture. You can't get lost in Planet Park. There's a map! Here we are at the start of the sculpture trail, about a nine minute walk from the train station. Check this out. This is number one on the heritage trail and he is Penny Hedge. He represents somebody that got rid of the death penalty way back and instead of the death penalty, he made them plant hedges for their penance. Hence, Penny Hence, Hedge. Penny Hedge. This is number two on the heritage trail, the bridge ender. When not at sea, the fishermen would stand on the bridge and share their knowledge of the fishing. Check him out. Number three on the heritage trail, the fisherman's wife. She not only helped in the home, but she also helped the husband out with some of his duties. This is heritage trail number four, the net mender. The fishermen had so many problems with the nets, they could be often seen having to mend them on the shore. Check this out. Here we are at number five. This represents a Gansey knitter. The fishermen's wives used to knit their husbands Gansey jumpers. Well, that kept the warm. Nice shot, Frank. And here we are at number six on the Heritage Trail, Frank Meadow Sutcliffe, known all around the world for his famous photography. Check him out. 
Hi Frank. Oh William, you can see for miles. This is number seven on the Heritage Trail. This is William Scoresby, the inventor of the crow's nest. Check it out. Number eight on the Heritage Trail is Skipper Dora. She was the first female skipper on the East Coast. Number nine on the Heritage Trail, the Herring Girls. These used to gut the herrings. Here we are at the Corners Bakery. Oh, we're not even in Cornwall. Come check it out. Since 2011, Cornish pasties have had geographical protected status. All Cornish pasties have to be made in Cornwall. It's going to be interesting to see what this one is like. Thank you very much indeed. Have a nice day. You can sit in there, but we wanted to go somewhere a little less mental. Follow me. Look at this for great benches with a fantastic view. Cornish pastry is a traditional pastry with a beef, potato and sweet filling. Let's check this one out and see how it compares. Oh, it's a nice size. Well, that is a fantastic consistency. The shape is consistent with what we expect from a Cornish pasty. Let's give it in half and see what it looks like. Show me the middle as well. I will, when I'm through it. <laughs> <laughs> wow, now that is brilliant. Hold one up if you can. We've got nice beef, potato and sweet all in there. And this pastry is perfect. It's just fresh out of the oven now. Just look at that flavour. It's fantastic. It's really warm. up there with a World War II plane that's flying over, about to do a bummy run. <laughs> what I will say is, that was probably one of the best pastries, Cornish pastries, I have ever tasted. Um, the beef is lovely, the potatoes are wonderful, the swede, really sweet, it's lovely. And the pastry, cooked to perfection, I'd give that a solid five out of five. Mmm. Can't fault it. Can't fault it. Oh, we've had a few tastes now, Jilly. What's your uh, final verdict? It is so delicious, isn't it? A five. And the bridge is open again. Look at all the people waiting. Look how busy it is. Insane. What do you think of that bridge crossing, Jill? That was very busy. Catch a boat from here, all fares, five pounds. The busy bars in Whitby. Check this out. Behind me is the Magpie Fish and Chip Shop. The most famous fish and chip shop in Whitby, but not the best. That goes to Mr. Chips. Check him out. Wait for a rainy day. Yes. 10p turned into 24p. Check it out. What did 24p turn into, Nicholas? Fourteen P. We're gonna be in here forever. Fourteen P. Turn into four P. <laughs> four P turned into nothing. Nothing. Ten P. Well spent. This actually used to be a ladies' luxury underwear shop. It really tickles me that it's now called. Cranberry Swamp. <laughs> Here we are at Clara's, the highest rated ice cream shop in Whitby. Come check it out. We came to Clara's because it's the highest rated on TripAdvisor for ice cream. Now I went for the milkshake. Now, 
consistency wise not quite thick enough for my liking i'd give that a three out of five the ice cream is quite delicious um, and I've not been to the waffle cone yet, but it looks very crunchy and nice. And I'm looking forward to the flake. I always like a flake. I'm giving it, up to now, a four out of five. I've done a little swap. Uh, now to try the ice cream. The ice cream's nice. It's okay. And um, the flavour, not quite as good as the ones we had a couple of weeks ago in Scarborough. Uh, the flake's a flake. And I'm sure this cone, yeah, delicious. I'll give that, yeah, four out of five. So I was actually really looking forward to this because we saw it on the menu before we, um, we left. Um, but yeah, the consistency, nowhere near thick enough. And it's really lacking in flavour. Um, it needs to be quite a bit more raspberry in there. So I'm actually only going to give that a two out of five. Here we are at the top of the Westcliff, just 12 minute walk from the train station. And look who we have here, Captain James Cook. Now, whilst that view behind me is really impressive, let me spin you around and show you what we've got here. Giant whale bones, check that out. Just check that out for a fantastic Instagram shot. It's even got the church and the abbey behind. Whilst the original whale bones were real, put here in 1853, this is a replica that's been here since 2003. Yep. Check it out. Here we are at the start of East Pier, just an 11 minute walk from the train station. Let's go check it out. Over there is West Pier, and here is East Pier, and the two piers were built to shelter ships in stormy weather. Whilst the view of that crystal blue sea is absolutely amazing, let me spin you around and show you what I've got over here. St Mary's Church, check it out. This is where they used to anchor the boats. And when me and Jill first started dating, we got a wonderful photograph from just this spot. Hopefully they'll bring it up. Hello. It appears there's a number 10 on the heritage trail. This one portrays a very muscular fisherman. Works at the end of the pier, fishing, trawling and letting the boats know. Come on in, boats. A seagull rendezvous spot. And now it's my turn to bridge 12. Whee! Whee! Don't know what it is, but there's something really scary about walking on these piers with these massive cracks underneath. Freaky. So it's nice and quiet down here on the East Pier. Now you get away from the hustle and bustle of the madness of Whitby. And it's also quite romantic. You feeling romantic, Julie? Very romantic. Look at this. It seems like we've got the end of East Pier completely to ourselves. How oh, nice. So here we are at the end of the East Pier and you'll see behind us, we've got Instagram shots in every direction. Check it out. There's a ladder here, shall we go down it? Look at that, we're under the pier. It's actually quite nice down here. Beautiful. Show us how it's done, Jill. She made it. Whew. Here we are at the start of the famous 199 steps in Whitby. Just a nine minute walk from the train station. Follow me as we check it out. One, two, three, four, five, eight, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. Oh, whilst that view of the 199 steps looks amazing. Let's just spin you around to show you this. Check that out. What a great 
Instagram shot. 199 steps date back as far as 1340, if not further. They used to be made of wood and they were replaced in 1774 by these stone ones. And these benches, which people are sitting on, used to be for resting the coffins on, yeah, on the way up to the church. Yeah. <laughs> we already did. Oh, well, we're glad that it's for the rest now. Let's <laughs> <laughs> burn your fish and chips off. Plus, they're for coffins, oh. not for sleeping. Take me already. 94, 95, 196, 197, 198, 199 steps complete. Check it out. This thing you see at the top of the 19 steps, the magnificent looking St. Mary's Church. Go and check it out. And while St. Mary's behind us looks incredible, let me spin you around and show you what I can see. It's the piers where we were earlier. Wow! Here we are at Whitby Abbey. It costs £12.50 for an adult, £7.50 for a child, or £32.50 for a family of five. Or if you have the English heritage, you get in for free. We haven't got time for it today, but we thought we'd show it to you. Anyway, let's head off. This is a Borg Hees gladiator from the 17th century, modelled on the marble statues they have in Rome. Check it out. He's a really doody. <laughs> Borgie statue one and two. What a fantastic day we've had in Whitby and we've had a lot of things on a budget. We had an okay ice cream, we had not so okay milkshake, an insipid milkshake, and a world class Cornish pasty, all for the price of £11.40. We also got to check out the art gallery, we also did the heritage trail did the 199 steps and checked out the pier. There's so much to do here in a day. Fantastic. I would just say that the Heritage Trail in itself will take up a whole day. What would be your rating out of five, Jelly? I'd rate it a five. I'd rate it a five too.